Package Device and Software wants to show you how quick and simple it is to configure your wireless network with the C36 Microcell Controller Easy Wizard. Please note the amount of time to configure your wireless network will depend on the number of access points connected. When you first log in to the C36 user interface, it will immediately detect the access points connected to the network and it will prompt you to run Wizard. Once you run Wizard, you're going to then click to start the Easy Wizard, and it's going to have you go through the following process. You're going to apply an IP address to the access points. It's going to verify that the access points are on the latest firmware. It is going to manage and license the access points, and then you're going to configure the SSID information to broadcast for all access points. Once the process is completed, you can view the managed access points and verify that everything has an online status. So you'll notice as the C36 provides an available IP address for the access points, it is now working to verify that the firmware is up to date on the access points as well. Now that it has confirmed, it's going to have you click on next and you're going to have the access points get managed and licensed. As this process completes, we're then again going to click on the next button and now we're going to configure our SSID information. Now the first thing we're going to do is verify the number of SSIDs we want to broadcast per access point. We're going to configure the name. You can enable suppressed SSID so it does not broadcast. You can enable station separation so that it does not allow the clients connected to this wireless network to see one another. Your security is going to be WPA2PSK. Type your passphrase. If you want the SSID to broadcast on a different package zone besides package zone 1, enable this option and select that zone ID. If you want to clone the 2.4 GHz SSID to the 5 GHz, you can also enable the band steering option. By doing so, the band steering is meant to help those 5 GHz capable uh, wireless client devices to connect to the 5 GHz radio if it detects a lot of wireless congestion or RF interference on the 2.4 GHz radio. Please keep in mind, even though you do enable the band steering option, it is still going to be ultimately up to the client device to decide which radio it will connect to. So once we are done with the 2.4, you click on the 5, save and continue, and now we're going to configure the SSID information on the 5 GHz. Once we configured our necessary settings, we will also save, and now we're going to save and apply. As it begins to save the settings, it is then also going to navigate to the access point menu and begin to configure and apply these settings that we've made to the actual access points themselves. And then we will confirm that the access points are ready to go. As it finishes scanning to verify the access points have been properly updated, we are now able to click on the view button and we can see that the access points have an online status. With the C36 Microsoft Controller Easy Wizard, it allows for a quick and simple wireless network configuration.